G'day team, Adam Kogan here from SSW TV and today I have a very special guest, Ulysses McLaren. How are you, Uli? G'day, how's it going? All right, what are we talking about? All right, well, I want to uh, talk a little bit about dictation and using your voice to control either your phone, but now your computer as well. Okay, so uh, a little bit of background for the, for the viewers why I've asked you to do this is because you use Siri more than anyone in the office for everything. And you also use the dictate feature uh, of Microsoft Word and Outlook more than anyone else as well. And you use them in different ways. So let's step into how you use it for Siri. I use Siri all the time because I find it very convenient to quickly take down a note, take down a, a reminder, call someone, send someone a quick SMS, anything that I can do without breaking my line of thought, having to pick up my phone. The, the process of picking up your phone opening it, unlocking it, going to the right app, calling someone is a pain. Um, whereas if you can just say, hey Siri, call my wife. Calling Jasmine, mobile. I better hang that up because she's in surgery at the moment. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so quick, I can, the frequent things I do are remind me when I get home to hang out the washing, uh, remind me in three hours to call so-and-so back. Um, tell my boss I'm gonna be five minutes late uh, call so and so, like just really, really quick. That sends a text. Yeah, yeah. Tell, tell Adam. or tell my boss. Would send you a text. You use it differently than I. I use it a lot, but I press it. I have a stream of consciousness. I then edit it, and then I press send. Uh, you don't look at the phone. You just use it in a fairly cavalier approach and just trust the thing. It depends what I'm doing. Yeah, if I'm messaging uh, Jazz, for instance, my wife, she's used to me using voice to text. So if there's a weird little typo in there, she won't mind. She'll get the gist of it and I can quickly do something. If I'm sending you a message, I'd probably check it first and make sure that everything was correct. All right. Now let's go over to Word and Outlook and let's talk about this dictate feature. All right. So this is pretty cool. Um, it, you can use it inside um, Outlook, Word and PowerPoint. For me, it's, it's Outlook. That's where I live all day, every day. So um, a common scenario, I'm always typing, I'm always here. I don't use this as much as I use Siri because I, can find I have a completely hands-off thing with Siri. I can, I can be driving or whatever and I can do something without using my hands at all. This is a bit of a mix. I use my hands a bit and I use my voice a bit. And I use it when I want to record a stream of consciousness. Uh, one nice feature about it is unlike Siri where you start talking and if you pause for too long, it'll think you've finished. So you kind of have to make sure you keep going. With this one, if you're in a quiet room, you can quietly dictate, pause while you think about what to say next and keep writing, which is a really nice feature. So um, I'll, I'll show you a little demo if you like. Okay. So to do this, you can click dictate up the top here. So this wouldn't normally have this open yet. You'd click dictate up the top here and that would start you dictating. For me, I always use the, the keyboard shortcut, which is alt tilde. So if I mouse over there, you can see alt tilde. So here's a, here's a common scenario. Hi, Adam. New paragraph. Thanks for calling me back. It was great to hear from you and I'm really glad we're going to be doing this project together. New paragraph. The technologies we discussed using for your project are, colon, start list, SQL server for the back end, next line, .NET for the middle tier, Next line, React for the front end. Exit list. New line. Delete that. New paragraph. The estimated cost for this whole project will be about $40,000 plus sign GST. Bold $40,000. New paragraph, speak to you soon. And then I press Alt tilde again, or I can say exit dictation. So as you, as you can see, uh, you can pretty easily put that together. It's a little clunky with the, with the list items. You have to kind of slow down and wait for it to recognize what you're doing and then say next line, but it's still very usable. And if you don't want to use your hands and you just want to get your stream of consciousness out there, it's really good for single paragraphs or a few sentences back to back that would take you a little while to type, it's really, really good. And it adds in your punctuation for you as you go. Is it possible ever 
to do an email and trust it the way you do Siri or do you always edit it before pressing send? I definitely always look to see if I need to edit it. In this case, I'm just reading this now, I actually don't think it made any mistakes that I didn't catch on the way through. So th for that one, I would literally Hang on. just... What about .NET? That's not how you write .NET. Oh, sure. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. And what okay. about so .NET you would, you would need to be doing some, some checking. Also, you can't add your signature. So Alt-N-A-S, add your signature. You can't do that with your voice. So do you use some keystrokes uh, because you can't trigger it with dictate? Yeah, the, if I had a couple of suggestions for this, there's a few things I'd love it to be able to do. So adding an email signature is a big one um, because I do that on pretty much every email I send to a client. I have to Alt N A S to, to do that. Uh, I also do Alt H Y 1, which does the Dynamics add-in. So if I was going to send this to a client, I would always track it in Dynamics. Being able to Alt and then do any of the Alt commands to do things from your ribbon would be great. I've also got a couple of things like um, autocorrects. So if I type in... T, uh, hash T space, it puts in the link to our terms and conditions. That's an autocorrect I've set up. Um, it won't recognize that with my voice either. Okay, awesome. Is there any other cool little bits and pieces? I guess useful things to know is you can say delete to get rid of the last word you've said or delete that to delete the whole last sentence. You can delete the last five lines. You can, as I, as I showed you there, you can bold things, you can italicize things just by mentioning which part of the sentence you wanted to do that to, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can do numbered lists. Instead of saying start list, you can say start numbered list. Uh, and you can also finish dictation. If you don't want to use your hands at all, you can just say exit dictation. But I find that a bit of a, uh, a tongue, tongue twister. So I tend to just alt tilde again. Right. Okay. One of the things uh, just on the UI, when I walk in your office and you're using this, uh, when you're using Siri, there's a little movement. But when you're using this, I come in and I don't know that it's going. Just press the dictate. The dictate icon at the top, see how they, they don't match? I find that weird that they don't match and then there's not movement with it. Yeah, no, fair enough. You could have a little squiggly thing around it to say it's, it's recognizing your noises. Um, another thing it's worth mentioning also, um, you can get away with using Siri in a crowded room because what you say is very quick and then it's done. With this, if there's any background noise at all, it'll pick it up too much. Uh, plus, you are talking for a longer period of time, which could be annoying if you're sitting next to someone. So this is something for use generally if you're in a quiet room on your own. I like the pressure that using Siri or pressing dictate gives me. I, I have a long phone call with a client or I am about to write a blog or something and I want to press the button and just keep talking until I've finished. I just enjoy that pressure to get me going, then I've got it, and then I can start with it. Yeah, it keeps you focused. Mm, yeah, it's really awesome. Okay, well, I hope uh, everybody finds that useful. I certainly love watching you use it. And I think that was a great demo just off the cuff. So that was fantastic. Thanks, Yuli. No worries, thanks and, very much. Uh, this is Adam Kogan signing off for SSW TV.